Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jean and I'm so happy and excited to have you guys for today's video. So, um, we are going to do a quick read. So, you know, this would last for approximately like 10 minutes or shorter. So, we're going to do a quick uh, read topic on whether you should leave your current job or not. So, we're going to use two cards for this. So, one is the actual uh, should, should you, yes or no, or maybe. And then the next card would explain why. Why is it giving us a yes or no, or maybe. Now, in front of us here, I've prepared three piles for you guys to choose from. So, you can pick based on the energy of the cards, or you can also pick based on the energy of the um, stickers or the girls. Okay, so for pile number one, just gonna do a little bit of a close up. We have <laughs> we have this. Um, okay. okay, there you go. So we have this um, stress out um, girl woman. Seems like she's doing quite a lot. Okay, and her hair is in a messy bun, and she represents our pile number one. And then for sticker or for image number two. We have this girl, okay, now uh, she seems, okay, so she seems stressed because she seems like, you know, she's running late for work, okay, like, oh, I can feel the energy from the past lives, like, yesterday, <laughs> no, just kidding. And then uh, we have here, okay, me covering the picture feels so, um, 2015, 2014. Okay, so for pal number three, we have this girl who, you know, seems confused as to what's really happening. Okay, and she represents our pile number three. So again, you can pick based on the energy of the cards or of the image. And then once you've made your pick, head down to the description box below to choose your timestamp. Now, I'll go ahead and get started with pile number one. Hi, pile number one. If you have chosen this um, girl wearing the messy bun, this reading is for you. So, as promised, it's going to be short. And I'm showing you your cards, which is the yes part, the yes or no part, and the explanation part. Now... Pile number one, um, should you leave your current job right now? And for your yes or no card, you have here the Queen of Cups. Now, what I'm getting here with the Queen of Cups in your energy is that it's not giving us a direct like yes or no. But more so, it's giving us or it's telling us that, you know, it depends on the you know emotion that you have been feeling now this is not something that you know happens like let's say for instance you were reprimanded by your boss you know for doing something and then you felt bad so leave instantly no um it's more of referring to that nagging feeling you know that thing that you have been feeling for quite a long time now so sometimes it has been going on for weeks but for most of you I'm seeing that, you know, there's always that, there seems to be that feeling that, you know, um, is knocking at, sorry, um, sorry, that is knocking at your mind, okay, telling you, telling you something. It's like, it's telling us that, you know, telling me rather that you should listen to your instinct. I'm seeing that for some of you, you may have, you know, an offer, either an offer or you have this thing that you really, really want to do. And, you know, the main energy or the main focus of the Queen of Cups is saying that what you should do depends on what you want to do, okay? So, this is, um, it's giving me the follow your heart um, vibes for the reading. So, it's not a direct yes or no, but it's more like, you know, what do you feel would be the best for you, Okay? So yes, and especially, most especially if you have this nagging feeling of whether to stay or to leave, again, it depends, um, you know, it depends per um, person, but you have to listen to that instinct. So the answer is more so based on your instinct. And then we have here the Knight of Swords. 
Now, the main factor to consider, so, you know, we have the emotional part of whether to stay or leave in your job, your current job, and then you have here the Knight of Swords. So, the main message or I'm feeling more of a spirit guide message, you know, it's saying that one important factor is if you think or feel like you're stagnating or that you are bound to be stagnated or about to hit a dead end in your career or even in your learnings so that's a very important factor to consider like are you growing or will you grow or if it's all about actually um climbing up the, climbing up the ladder moving up like are you learning something at least okay um learning something that you feel would be very useful for you in your job in the future or you know does it even have to be like technical uh, learnings like are you learning something new about you know yourself the world are you learning something that is applicable something that can be used not just within your workplace but also in other areas of your life so you know if those things are still in your current job so maybe we could reconsider to stay but if you feel like you know you've really like there's no almost no chance of you um having that and all so it's time to reconsider um staying or leaving okay so that is it for us pile number one i hope you know this reading was able to help i hope you like this video thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i get to see you on the next video bye bye hello pile number two welcome to your reading if you have chosen this lady who is running late for her work then this one is for you so we're just gonna put her here and then as promised it's a quick read so this one would give us the yes or no and then this one would give us the reason as to why it's a yes or no and ultimately with the ace of coins or the ace of pentacles appearing in your reading i'm seeing that it's telling us no but more like not yet okay and then we have here the fool so it's very interesting because you have two cards that are you know generally speaking about new beginnings new chapters now with the ace of coins being in reverse okay again it's saying not no not that you should stay stay but more so you know um consider the timing of um your resignation or of leaving so it's giving us the message that of course uh, we are bound to leave like everyone is you know at some point in time no matter how long have you been in your current work we're all bound to leave somehow but the message for you guys with the ace of coins in reverse is that um try not try to hold back on leaving just at least for now or at least until you have computed or have enough savings enough money to support yourself financially so you know this your spirit guys or future self is giving you more of like a warning like try to avoid you know making um impulsive decisions about leaving your work all because of um emotion so try to set that aside and also consider the monetary reasons for it and then we have here the fool which is actually very interesting it's a major icon card like literally the first card in tarot okay you have here the fool and i want to accentuate or you know put the card on a more focus so you have here a mermaid representing the fool card and then this lovely mermaid is looking high at the or far away at the castle so she definitely she's the little mermaid okay and you have here the fish so she's aiming for something dreaming for something but that's kind of far away almost as if it's impossible to reach it now the full card in here is, is saying that not that what you want is impossible it's not but you know the fact that it's beside this ace of coins in reverse is telling us or is telling yeah telling us giving us a message that you know you have to hold on to your current job to support yourself financially but not only for you to have a rest but also again this is important but also for you to have enough funds to support this dream or you know this thing that you really really want to do 
So in essence, you know, your spirit guides or your future self is saying that, you know, um, you are the little mermaid who will eventually be able to get to, you know, the land of well, the castle, um, you know, the human world, you will be able to get there no matter how impossible it seems. But you will be needing resources so as, you know, for you to avoid running into a sea witch and, you know, um, well, you know what happened when the Little Mermaid encountered Ursula. So the Ace of Coins, you know, is trying to prevent you from going there, you know, like skipping to that part. So, yes, as much as possible, my dear pile number two, try to stay um, where you are for now. And, you know, at least until such time that you are financially independent from your current work. So that, you know, you could get there. Like, you will get there. Like, I believe in you guys. Okay? Alright, and um, that's it for us, pile number two. So, I hope you like this reading. I hope this was able to help. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I get to see you on the next video. Bye-bye! Hi, pile number 3! Welcome to your reading. If you have chosen this shy woman, this reading is for you. Okay, so um, this card will explain the yes or no part and this card will explain the explanation part. And for you guys, my dear pile number 3, what I'm seeing with the 7 of swords is that, you know, but I hope that you guys are okay. It seems like you are in a toxic environment. And, you know, I hope, yes, I hope that you're okay. And, yes, so definitely, you know, um, you should, you know, as much as possible, um, try to, you know, um, leave. Or, but at least leave um, in a graceful way. Now, with the wolf card, I'm a bit concerned because, you know, there had been some sort of um, betrayal, some form of betrayal happening in your workplace. It could be that, you know, you have trusted someone at work and then they turned out to be another kind of, you know, person that you didn't expect them to be. And this is to your disadvantage. Okay, so see how the wolf, you know, is holding on to something, kind of like a weapon, and then... Um, there's a dinosaur or a monster laughing um, at him, the shadow. And I'm feeling that, you know, for you guys, you may be feeling trapped at work. Or it could be that, you know, it's just toxic to the point that it's almost unbearable for you guys. Now, the three of wands here is actually giving you a strong, um, you know, affirming message that everything will be okay. And, you know, with these two cards beside each other and their symbolism, it's telling you, your spirit guides, your future self is telling you that, you know, you don't need to crawl when you have the capacity to climb. See? So, you know, um, you don't have to be afraid that no one would hire you or that, you know, nothing great will come out of your career. You know, if you actually, you know, once you leave, you don't have to worry. There's going to be an amazing opportunity waiting for you with the Three of Wands. Now, it could be that, you know, this would come at a great timing. Or it could be that you have saved enough to either open up your own business, whether it's big, small, or do go to freelancing. You know, do something that may be a little bit difficult from where you're, what you're doing right now. Or, you know, it could be um, an upskill or an upgrade, total upgrade um, with your with the same job but you know with better let's say with better benefits better pay better location better work environment better everything okay so you know um, we don't have to be afraid of leaving there's something really great waiting out there for you and i'm seeing that you know this place that you're going next this is somewhere where you will thrive okay so see how the image of the woman is just climbing Okay, like from being the shy person, um, the you know the future for your career is actually great. You are someone who's going to climb and reach something at the top. So you know you don't have to worry. Everything will be, um, settled. Everything will be alright for you, my dear pile number three. Alright, so next you're up. You're going. You know you're going fine and you're going to do great. 
Okay, so um, that's it for us, pile number three. I hope you like this reading. I hope this was able to help in any way. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I get to see you on the next videos. Bye-bye!